This video is sponsored by Lingoda. No matter if you're learning German for your job or just for fun, Lingoda has the lessons that you need to reach your goals. Take live online lessons with native speakers whenever you want. Click the link in the description and get started learning German with Lingoda today. Today you're going to learn how to count to 100 in German, how to tell time, and how to do some simple math problems all in German. Stick around to the end and I will blow your mind about the number one. Eins. Ich bin eins. Ich bin ein Jahr alt. Zwei. Ich habe zwei Kinder. Drei. Das sind drei Katzen. Vier. Ich esse jeden Tag vier Äpfel. Fünf. Das sind fünf Beeren. Sechs. Er hat sechs Karten. Sieben. Wir sind auf Wolke sieben. Acht. Es ist acht Uhr. Neun. Die Katze hat neun Leben. Zehn. Ich kann auf Deutsch bis zehn zählen. Elf. Es gibt elf Elfen in dem Baum. Zwölf. Der Wolf pustet zwölfmal, aber das Haus bleibt stehen. The numbers after zwölf, twelve, follow a pattern. Up to and including nineteen, the numbers end with zehn, and they start with the same word as the numbers from drei, three, to neun, nine. Just be careful with sechzehn and siebzehn, as they drop a letter or two to form the new number. Dreizehn. Dreizehn ist eine Unglückszahl. Vierzehn. Vierzehn Kinder sind zu viel. Fünfzehn. Meine Schwester ist fünfzehn Jahre alt. Sechzehn. Ab sechzehn kann man in den USA fahren. Siebzehn. 17 ist eine Zeitschrift in den USA. 18. Ab 18 kann man in Deutschland ohne Eltern fahren. 19. Die Duggers haben 19 Kinder. After 19, 19, we have a similar pattern. All of the numbers up to and including 99 follow the pattern of ones place plus und plus the tens place. Obviously, if there is a zero in the ones place, you don't bother saying it out loud. If the number eins, or one, is in the ones place, you don't say the s at the end of the word. Instead of saying eins, you say ein. And here are the numbers from 21 to 29 as an example. Einundzwanzig. Zweiundzwanzig. Dreiundzwanzig. Vierundzwanzig. Fünfundzwanzig. 26, 27, 28, 29. Once you've mastered this pattern of number creation, you simply have to learn the words for the tens places. I'll count by tens to show you what they are. Things to note about these numbers, 30 is the only one spelled with an S set instead of a Z. Both sechs and sieben are shortened again as they did with the teens to become sechzig and siebzig. Zehn. Zwanzig. Dreißig. Vierzig. Fünfzig. Sechzig. Siebzig. Achtzig. Neunzig. Once you get to 99 in German, you get to 100, which you can also just say as 100. Then you have to put the number after the hundred behind the word hundert. If you have more than one hundred, you put the number of hundreds in front of the word hundert. Ein hundert eins. Zwei hundert drei und vierzig. Acht hundert sieben und achtzig. Just like in English, you can use eleven through the teens to express numbers over one thousand, but anything beyond the teens has to be expressed with the word thousand. 1122 1999 2019 
To tell time in German, you simply put the word Uhr between the hours and the minutes. To say it as a full sentence, you can add es ist in front of the time. Keep in mind that one o'clock is ein Uhr and not eins Uhr. Also, eine Uhr would be a clock, which is clearly not what you meant. Es ist acht Uhr fünfzehn. Es ist sechs Uhr sechsunddreißig. Es ist zwei Uhr. Es ist fünf Uhr fünfundfünfzig. Use nach to say that the time is a number of minutes after the hour. You can include the word Minuten in your sentence if you like, but it's not necessary. You can also leave out the Uhr when you form a sentence like this. If you leave out the word Uhr with ein Uhr, it becomes eins instead. Es ist drei Minuten nach vier. Es ist elf Minuten nach ein Uhr. Es ist elf Minuten nach eins. Es ist vierundzwanzig nach drei. Use for to say that the time is a number of minutes before the hour. The same rules as before with regards to Minuten and Uhr still apply. Es ist fünf vor sechs. Es ist zehn Minuten vor zwei. Es ist dreizehn Minuten vor sieben. What you may not have realized about those examples that I just gave is that every single one of them is in the morning. That's because Germans use the 24-hour clock. In order to say a time that is after 12 Uhr or 12 o'clock, you simply count up to the next hour, 13 Uhr, 14 Uhr, etc. If you have trouble with this, take any number that is over 12 and subtract 12 from it in order to get the hours in the 12-hour system. It is common to use the 12-hour system in conversational German, as you can tell based on the context if you mean morning or afternoon, but any written or official time-telling will be done in the 24-hour system, because there is no obligatory AM or PM equivalent like we have in English. Es ist 14 Uhr 30. Es ist 10 vor 17 Uhr. Es ist 23 Uhr 12. In order to read simple math questions in German, you'll need some extra vocabulary. You say plus to add things together. You can use ist or macht where the equal sign goes. 10 plus 21 macht 31. 24 plus 35 ist 59. To subtract, use minus. 99 minus 44 macht 55. 46 minus 12 ist 34. To multiply, use mal. 9 mal 9 ist 81. 8 mal 8 ist 64. To divide, use geteilt durch. 72 geteilt durch 9 macht 8. 55 geteilt durch 5 ist 11. There are obviously other ways to tell time in German, including quarter and half hours, as well as some complicated ways that you might not have heard about when watching other videos or reading about time telling in German. In the next video in this series, I'll talk about some of these, as well as what to do with the time element in a sentence. Where do you put it? How flexible is German word order? This will be our first lesson about German word order in this series, so make sure you don't miss it. Your fantastic fact of the day is about the Nummer Eins. You may have noticed that I mentioned that there is a difference between ein Uhr, one o'clock, and eine Uhr, a clock. That's because the word ein and all of its other forms, eine and einen, for example, all stem from the German word for one, which is eins. This means that you can use it like I did in my first example sentence, ich bin ein Jahr alt, and translate it as I am one year old or I am a year old as the word ein can also mean a or an in that sentence. This is true of all of the other times when you use ein in a sentence. For example, ich habe einen Hund can be translated as I have a dog or I have one dog. Now for the mind-blowing part. All of that is true because eins is being used as a pronoun. It replaces something in every sentence in which it is ever used. 
It doesn't have any of the other endings like Ina or Einen because it's being used as kind of a generic pronoun that doesn't necessarily point to a particular noun, so it uses the neuter form Eins. For example, Ist das ein Blatt Papier? Ja, das ist Eins. If the noun that is being replaced is known, you do need to change Ein to fit the gender of the noun being replaced and the case in which the pronoun is being used. For example, Hilfe! Ich brauche einen Arzt! Er ist einer. Since this video is designed for A1 learners, I'll just point out that if you're going to use ein in this manner, you should probably wait until you've learned a bit more German. Again, I'd like to thank my sponsor Lingoda. They have lessons to fit whatever your needs may be. If you're learning German or even French, Spanish, or English for that matter, they have the lessons and materials that you need to be successful in your foreign language goals. Click the link in the description and check them out.